Hi, this is Paul. I wanted to talk about several issues, and I'll try not to make this video too long and try not to rant too much. But I want to cover a couple of things. The first thing I want to talk about is Mike Ditka. Uh, Mike Ditka, believe it or not, said the most one of the dumbest things I ever heard. That basically there's been no oppression for the last hundred years. Uh, Mike is 2017, so 100 years ago would be 1917. You remember a little thing called Rosa Parks, the, the sit-ins. You remember all that stuff? Okay, uh, women not having the right to vote. Was that 1909? I forget with it. But anyway, the fact that this this idiot really got hit too much in the head playing football, and maybe now he's getting, he's going to see now. Okay, I used to really respect Mike Dicker, but now I have just he just killed all my respect for him with that idiotic statement. Now, I don't know how he could say that with a straight face. And how did I think they said Jim Gray interviewed him? If I was Jim Gray, I'd have, I would have. I'd have said, are you are you okay? Are you sober? Uh, saying that statement. I, it's just, again, just shut up forever, Mike Dick. I just lost all respect for you with that idiotic statement. The second thing I want to talk about is uh, Mike Dick, uh, not Mike Dick, uh, Jerry Jones and, and Stephen Ross to a lesser extent. But that's the owner of the Cowboys, of course, the owner of the Dolphins, basically saying uh, if any player uh, doesn't stand, basically they want the players to stand. If any player stand, they're not, they're going to suspend them. They won't play. Okay, way to go, Jerry. You really, you really remember a few weeks ago when. Uh, when President Trump uh, made that statement, basically calling the NFL players SOBs and their moms the B word, and and you and all the NFL supposedly uh, stood up and locked arms and all that stuff uh, during the national anthem to show that that he couldn't Trump couldn't tell them what to say. But pretty much uh, Jerry Jones uh, uh, basically said, "Oh, forget all that. Uh, now you're affecting my money. Um, uh, I want all the players to stand and for the national anthem. You're disrespecting the flag." And again. It's not about disrespecting the flag. They keep missing the point all the time. It's not about disrespecting the flag or the veterans. Okay, it's not that. Okay, it's about bringing attention to the alarming number of unarmed black men that were getting killed in this country. Okay, that's what the protest was about. Okay, and you notice they they, they don't bring that part up. Okay, all you hear out of them is disrespecting the flag, or disrespecting our veterans. Nothing about uh, unarmed black men being killed. Uh, no, that 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 somehow escapes their attention. And speaking of that, Vice President Pence, another moron that works for a bigger moron, okay, basically uh, stood up. He went to a, I guess the game Forty Nineers in uh, Indianapolis, and he basically got up and left, saying that if any player, and basically I think he tweeted to uh, if any player was going to stand, he knew the players for the San Francisco Forty Nineers had been and kneeling and stuff and sitting. But on that side, he knew it going in. So basically, this was just a publicity stunt. A publicity stunt that cost the taxpayers and me about $250,000. Okay, that was a publicity stunt that him and, the, and that moron in chief uh, came up with. Okay, and, and of course, the, the moron in chief uh, were giving him a pat on the back, saying, oh, what a way to go. Again, another, what I can't understand is, again, this moron, and I'm talking about President Trump, okay, who's all of a sudden, oh, oh gang ho for the military. And when it was his chance to serve, he got his rich daddy to buy him out of it, okay? Okay, he, he was safely at home, okay, when other people were risking their lives, like John McCain, okay? And that's why I have zero respect for him and zero respect for Mike Pence. That was a, a publicity stunt. And he should be fired on top of that for, for basically costing the taxpayers $250,000 for a publicity stunt, okay? You weren't fooling anybody, okay? And, and between the two of them, I don't think they have a brain cell between the... The two of them, and now I really do believe Rex Tillerson called him a, a moron, an effing moron, because I, I do believe just just saying this, his presidency has been a, a total disaster. Okay, and it's just ridiculous. And okay, one other thing I think I wanted to talk. Oh yeah, there was a incident in uh, I think in Staples Center where basically during the national anthem, this woman threw a drink on two people that were sitting for the national anthem, and now. Uh, of course, I heard that, that she got, um, of course, my, her friend was filming this while she did this. And of course, she ran uh, like the coward that she was once she threw the drink. She ran like the coward that she is. But they, I, think, I think they found her out, and then she got, I think she has a lifetime ban. And if, uh, if those two guys, they should sue her, okay? Now everybody knows what her name is. They should sue her, okay? Okay, they should sue her for assault, for throwing that, water, throwing that drink, water, coffee, whatever it was on them, okay? And she, and, and, like I said, because we got this moron in chief, these these idiots have gotten emboldened, okay? 
and they should they, they should have really when she did that they should have really they should have went after her and grabbed her and threw a drink on her. Okay, I don't advocate violence against women, but she crossed the line. When you throw stuff on people, when you spit on people, when you throw stuff on people, okay, then you give up your right to be treated like a person. Okay, and you deserve to be get returned in kind. Okay, and she was a moron for throwing somebody. Somebody, and, and the next person that does that is going to get their chin checked. Okay, they really are going to get their chin checked. Okay, so keep doing that. Keep thinking that oh, that you that you're uh, that you you can be bold and outspoken. Okay, and I think there was an incident on the train where some racist dude was on the train popping crap, and basically the people they, they gave him a verbal smackdown and kicked him off the train. Okay, because people ain't tolerating it anymore. Okay, just because you got this moron in chief who doesn't have a filter and is a complete idiot in the White House doesn't mean people can. I gotta to tolerate the BS, okay? So anyway, I just wanted to talk about those uh, few uh, sub subjects. Let me know what you think about them. Feel free to leave comments down below. And this is Paul saying so long. Take care.